I do not condone the use of any legal or illegal substances. In this video, I am simply reviewing a legal Dutch product. I am not taking any substances. I am not recommending you to take any substances. I am slim simply showing you a product, a legal Dutch product. This video was made completely according to the guidelines of YouTube. I'm not violating any of the guidelines. I've never grown magic truffles myself before, so let's find out in this video. I'm not gonna do this like the entire thing, I'm not gonna make the substrate. There was just this website I found like a while ago and uh, they sell magic truffle grow kits and for as far as I know it's the only website who does this because I haven't seen it on other websites. So I was curious to see what they was, this was like. Um, this is easier as I read the instructions compared to when you buy a grow kit for magic mushrooms because when you grow magic mushrooms there's also like the ready to go substrate with the mycelium in it you can just grow it, it takes a couple of weeks and um, then you have your magic mushrooms, you don't have to make the substrate. The negative thing, the, which I don't really like about the grow kit, is that you need to create a very, very stable environment for the mushrooms to grow. Like if just one small bacteria or contamination happens within the system, uh, the environment of the grow kit, then the mushrooms are messed up and you can throw the entire batch away and there goes for 50, 40 euros or so, depends where you're buying them from. But this seems to be pretty stable because I read the instructions and it said, open the lid, keep them somewhere for three days. Like not even, they don't even say, keep it in a stable environment, keep it uh, out of uh, moisturous air, keep it out of the heat. Just open the lid, put it somewhere and within three days you have like many, many truffles. So this, seemed worth the thing to uh, test this out. In this video we're gonna grow these magic truffles and see how with how much uh, magic truffles we end up with at the end of the growing process after three days and then after that we're gonna calculate to see is it smarter to buy magic truffles from a smart shop or from a web shop in ready to go packages or is it smarter to buy these grow kits. Which one will give us the most amount of truffles for the least amount of money. That's what we want to find out in this video. So let's start the growing process. I'm going to show you the kits. These are the magic truffle kits that I bought. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to follow the instructions and we're going to open this up. And that's it. This was the only instruction that was given, like open the lids, put them somewhere. Not even, they, don't, they didn't even say put it on room temperature, uh, make sure it's like this kind of environment, don't make it too dry or moisturous or whatever. Like the only instruction that they give was open the lids, keep them for three days, the truffles will grow, you just sieve them eventually with a sieve so that the truffles remain and that's it. So it seems pretty simple and let's see if... Um, it all works out and I'm kind of curious to see if this is cheaper to buy the truffles in grow kits compared to buying them just ready to go in a package in like a smart shop. I'm just gonna let them stand at my attic for a while for three days and then we'll get back at it. All right it's been three days since I've took, taken the lid off of the, the jars full of truffles. Like the beautiful thing about this whole process is that it doesn't take any effort. I've had mushroom grow kits before and you need to do much more effort to get reasonable mushrooms out of there. And then there's the major risk of contamination so that you can throw away the entire batch. Like with this, I just took off the lid, I put them here for three days and they've grown like crazy. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna filter all of the substrate out of it so that only the truffles remain. And then we're going to measure the entire dose, uh, the entire batch of truffles and see and calculate whether or not it was cheaper to buy them in a grow kit or whether it's cheaper to buy just ready to go uh, 15 fresh grams of truffle packages that you can buy in smart shops to see which one is just the most cheap one of uh, the options that we have over here.
I've been sieving now for like uh, 10 to 15 minutes because normally like they give this egg form with the package so that you can filter everything out perfectly but uh, the problem with this is that my sieve just the the size of the holes they are too small so the I can't filter it very well then on the other side there's also this thing that um, well, everything looks kind of like a truffle like uh, let me get an example if I grab this for example and uh, we examine it it looks like a truffle but if I break it it's just substrate it is just you can see it over here if, if the camera allows that there's just this these dots so it does look like a truffle but it isn't really a truffle and there's like tons of that over here like this for example it also looks like a truffle and then if you start doing this very lightly with your hands it just crumbles down so it's really hard to find out where the truffles are and uh, I've read on the website that they don't give the egg forms anymore so unless you have like a, a good sieve with big holes it's really hard to filter out the truffles over here this for example is one good nice truffle like you can see clearly that this is a truffle and that it's not substrate like you can see uh, the white over there I really got a nice piece over here like look at this one it looks like uh, well in Holland we call it marmor I don't know what the name is in English, but look at those layers. That's amazing. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what this is, man. Like, I broke down one of the truffles from which I'm sure that it's a truffle. But this also looks like a truffle. But then uh, when I crack it open and I see over here, you see those white dots over there. It's like substrate. And between the substrate, the truffle has grown. So I don't... I've never really seen that before to be honest like the truffles that I've had in the past were just pure truffles without these uh, spores of s substrate within them so I'm not gonna eat them I'm only gonna eat like the, the truffles from which I'm sure that they look good that they're good quality and um, yeah the ones that just look fine this is it this is the batch so we can see that there are some nice truffles over here like I just showed you previously. I li really like this one. It looks cool and for the rest, yeah, they just look like, like regular Atlantis truffles. Just the way as you buy them in like a smart shop. So on first look on these truffles, they do seem quite nice. There was just this one problem that I have, uh, that I had with the sieving process and also as I mentioned previously my sieve was too small and I was uh, washing the truffles for like 10 to 15 minutes until I gave up and um, when, when I came across a piece of truffle from which I was sure it was a truffle after 15 minutes of washing um, the batch I saw that the truffles were too soaking so they were too wet they just fell apart so um like an estimation of how much of it got destroyed in the process i estimate like 25 percent of the truffles i didn't get out of there because it just uh took too long for me to clean them and that caused the truffles to get too wet and then they fell apart so it's kind of a shame that a couple of them were lost but the majority of it i got it it's right in front of here, me right here so what i learned from this was that the sieving process shouldn't take like more than five minutes to prevent the truffles from getting too wet and preventing them from from falling apart i'm now going to measure the quantity of the truffles that we have over here and after that, I'm going to calculate which option is the best to do. Should you grow truffles yourself? Should you buy them in a smart shop? Which one is the best option to take if you want the cheapest option? We got 82 grams of fresh magic truffles from the grow kits that I bought. So I'm now going to do the calculations and let you know what comes out. The calculation turned out to be phenomenal. So we got 82 fresh grams of Atlantis truffles for 43 euros and 95 cents in a smart shop or in a web shop you normally pay like around 15 euros for 15 grams when we divide 15 euros by 15 grams we get one euro per gram of magic truffle 
But when we divide 43 euros and 95 cents by 82 grams, we get 0.54 cents per gram of magic truffles. So this estimates that when you have a grow kit, you pay 50% less uh, for your truffles compared to when you buy magic truffles out of a smart shop in a ready to go package or from a web shop. And then also keep in mind that I messed up like 25% of the truffles by sieving it the wrong way. So apparently like from this batch, I uh, saved more than 50% uh, of the money I would spend on magic truffles if I would buy a package uh, compared to when I buy them from a grow kit. So yes, I guess this is a, a money saver. This almost seems too good to be true, but uh, it might just be because on the website, on the web shop, there's a temporary sale. If you buy one grow kit, you get another one for free. It seems like that's a permanent thing because there's no time limit on the website. It, the sale doesn't have like a time limit or something. But that might just be the way they show it. Like maybe in a couple of weeks, uh, you don't get that another one uh, for free anymore. And then you pay like 39 euros for one uh, package, for one grow kit. If that would be the case, then uh, if you didn't have get like a one for free, then like probably it won't be worth buying a grow kit because then uh, you would approximately get the same amount of truffles from one grow kit as you would have uh, from a couple of packages of fresh magic truffles. It is just that this one saved me a lot of money simply because there's this sale on the website one plus one free uh, for the grow kit. But again, it seems to be like a permanent thing, like a marketing thing, because when I look back at that website, like a couple of months ago, when I was thinking about this, but not doing it yet, uh, there was also this sale, one plus one free. So I think it's just a marketing stunt from their website to make the option for buying two grow kits, uh, like very attractive to their customers. So if this sale stays, Definitely, most definitely, this is a much cheaper and smarter option if you want magic truffles. If the sale doesn't stay and they bring it back to um, like one grow kit for 39 euros, then it will not be worth uh, it to grow them yourself. One, because you have to go to a lot of effort and you get like the same amount of truffles compared to for the same amount of money from the grow kit as you would have buying them in a smart shop or a rep shop and two it's just too much truffles to like uh, eat on your own like this was 82 grams if i would have only one grow kit i would have 41 grams of uh, fresh magic truffles i could dry them of course but i like eating them eating them fresh because then the potency is like like you know, when you have them dried the potency decreases after some time and I don't trip often. So for me, I'm just gonna stick to um, buying them in packages from web shops or from smart shops. One, because I get a discount from my partner, but two, I don't eat a lot of truffles when I trip. So like getting uh, this sale from 82 grams of fresh magic truffles, it won't be worth it for me because I would just spend too much money to get that much of uh, truffles but like for example if you're tripping in a group for like four people or something or you take small dosages maybe for six people or you take high dosages maybe for two to three people well that would be insanely high but uh, still if you would be in a group and you can plan this out you already have a date for when you are going to trip then the grow kit if the sales on to grow kits for 39 euros is definitely worth it. Like you would save a lot of money. This was an interesting video to make. I've never grown truffles myself, so I can write it off my bucket list. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on your next trip.